I can't read. Down south and strapped up. Car all black, yes, wrapped up and it's gassed up. We ready to roll straight out of church. Lord bless my soul. You can step to me if you'd like to meet him. But I'd keep you distance if you like breathing. We got more rounds and it keeps increasing. We give them out, you best believe it. What's up, everybody? I feel like it's been a hot minute since I've been on the bike. Actually, I wanted to last week several times, but it rained literally every day last week. Ow, what the fuck? I had some people talking to me about some uh, video games, like ones I used to play and uh, ask me what I play now. I still have a lot of people ask me what video games I play now. I think people want me to play online with them, but I don't really do that anymore. Railroad! Ah! What the? What is? What? What just flew into me? Anyway, right now I'm really only playing Gran Turismo 7, and that is on the PlayStation 4. And I really don't even play that that often. But I did used to be really into video games. I mean, I had uh, just about every video game console ever, most of them anyway. I had an Atari, PlayStation 1, 2, 3, and 4. Um, I probably would get the 5 if I still played, but I really don't play that much. I had the GameCube, I had like every Game Boy ever. Facade, dude. Yeah, like the Game Boy, the original Game Boy Brick, uh, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Advance SP, I had all those. PC, man, I played PC games when they were on floppy disks. Like, I played everything, man. I had the original Xbox and the Xbox 360. I think that Xbox 360 playing Halo 3 is probably the game I put like most of my hours behind. Maybe. Probably as a single game, yes. I did play a ton of the Call of Duties. I mean, if you combine all the Call of Duty game hours I played, I've spent way too much time killing people across the planet online multiplayer Call of Duty style. But Halo 3, man, I was like one of the top ranked people on that game. I, uh, I got to play against Bungie employees. I beat them, not all of them. Some of them killed me. I killed a lot of them though. I had every achievement in that game, if you know what that means. If you don't, oh well. I don't want to explain it. I did everything that that game had to offer. Like, fully beat it on the hardest difficulties, played online, met some of the best players in the world at that game, beat them. I mean, I was like a serious Halo player. Looking back on it now, that did absolutely nothing for me, but you know, it's just something to say that I've done now. I'm really not sure what the first game I ever played was. For some reason, my memory wants to say Myst, but I know that's not right. Myst was probably the first video game I, like, really remember playing well. Like, the original Myst, not any of the spin-offs or sequels. Like, the original Myst on PC. But like I said in a previous video, I did, like, Storybook Weaver and stuff, which uh, came out before that even, I think. Maybe not, I don't remember. But I mean, there was a bunch of games I played that I legitimately do not remember the name of because they were like, I had some on floppy disk, like I said, and I really don't remember their names. And I had some original PC games. Like PC is probably where I really got started gaming. I remember I got my first laptop and I had like Roller Coaster Tycoon. I had Half-Life, the original Half-Life. That was back when I thought Half-Life was scary. I think a lot of people still think Half-Life is scary now, but like now I just know it's a video game or whatever. But back then as a little kid playing Half-Life alone in my room with the lights off, I was like, couldn't even sleep, man. On GameCube, I had Pokemon Coliseum. I think that's what it was called, Pokemon Coliseum. That was fun. I don't remember any of my PlayStation 1 games. I know PlayStation 2, I had like Tekken and Call of Duty. I had uh, Call of Duty Big Red 1, I love that thing. I played a lot of different games. On Game Boy, I know I spent a absolute ton of time on Pokemon. My favorite of which, and still to this day, is Pokemon Emerald. Which is essentially like Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, but the third one of it, I don't, I don't know, whatever. I liked it, okay? It was fun. 
It's my favorite gin of Pokemon. Don't be hating on the Pokemans. I'm the Pokemans master. I remember on the Game Boy, you could only have one saved game at a time. And I had like beaten the game, but I had a ton of high level Pokemon that I, I raised myself. And like, I was so good at this game, man. And, and my cousin came over and he started a new game and he freaking saved it. And I remember I was so upset about that. And I remember my family being like, it's just a game. Like, I was a kid, that's all I had. Like, that was that was what I did. Like, when I got home, I played, like, that was, that was my life, man. And it was just erased with one click of a button. I don't know why I turned so far to the right just to make a left turn, that was kind of weird. But yeah, man, I love my video games. I really miss playing, you know? Now that I'm an adult, I have like responsibilities. Shout out Rugrats. I was born in 95, for those of you trying to guess, by uh, my games and stuff. Yes, I still played the Atari. Shout out Space Invaders. I also had one of those uh, arcade machines, Centipede. Yeah, that's right, the Centipede machine. My grandma had one of those in her office and I would play that thing all the time. I love old school games, man. I love all games, really. Yeah, that's really all I got for you guys today. So, yeah, I'm just gonna cut through these weird looking signs over here. I can't read. Yeah, that's it. I can talk about more games later if you guys want. It's what is. But yeah, I'll catch you next time. Always remember, if you're playing someone else's video game, make sure you don't delete their save games. That's, that's their progress, that's their livelihood, that's their hours they put into it. Don't, don't go deleting it. No, I'm not salty about it. Shut up. Alright, bye guys.